Hello, soldiers of the Pradami. Come on, no problem. No, we're here. We're here to talk about the review of Fox Lane 2017. Now, the pay per view itself wasn't bad, it wasn't an F minus, but it wasn't good. Like a D plus. <laughs> No, but pay for you, what I'm just, I'm just going to talk about pay for you first. It was basically a fancy, good version of an episode of Raw. But there was some hilarious bits. Like, uh, Roman Ring's, uh, sneakers. These, like, uh, we call those type of shoes in America. Uh, first going to talk about the kickoff show. Pretty well, but it was a decent cruiserweight match. But when do you see a decent cruiserweight match besides something to do with Neville? Um, it was the faces one was race one and Akira Tozawa. Now, I thought on the match was what's the point? Good thing, yeah, the one good thing about having cruiserweight. Uh, two on two matches when the two, uh, two fuse and they add up together like a mutual enemy. But nope. Uh, look at my notes. It's uh, one pin at no and uh, after a phoenix splash. Neat. Oh yeah, after this, we're gonna do gonna do some new stuff. Which one was better? Elimination Chamber or Face Lane? Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, we start with the pay per view. Was Samoa Joe defeating Sami Zayn? Joe won by some mission with the something clutch. I don't know how to say that. Uh, March was actually pretty decent, and uh, the ones in NXT were better. Uh, but really good start. Maybe in the top. Wait, how many fast lanes have there been? 14, 15, 16, 17. Has it been four? Three? Oh, yeah, three. Yeah, uh, I see it's two. Uh, for the best fast lane starter. Next match was uh, for a tag team championship match for club defeating Enzo Mori and Piquette. Enzo Mori being in match. Night. 9% of the match, and the only good thing for Enzo Mori these days, he's good at, uh, talking, and, how do you say that, what's that word again? From, and, uh, selling stuff. Uh, Carl Anderson, uh, hit Enzo Mori with a running knee, and got the pain. A thoughts in match. Meh. Next one was Sasha Banks for uh, defeating Nia Jax. Banks pinned Jax with a uh, bridging O'Connor roll. For so much, I'll just say one. Where the hell did I put them? Oh. Out of the two only uh, women's matches, it was the works. Somehow, Nia Jax uh, beat him. Small Banks being Nia Jax, as usual. Is it trying to do like an underdog thing? The kind of failing at it. Now, for the next one, I'm going to talk, think, uh, say something while I just. I was going to go into these two flame matches and filler matches. Uh, and during the pre show, Rusev and Gita Mahal got into an argument, and Mick Foley told them to go to the ring to have matches. What's a filler? Please. Uh, the first filler match was Cesaro defeating Jinder Mahal. This is. When we ever see Jinder Mahal in a singles match in a pay per view, oh wait, it's brand split. Uh, 
in Ma- Mahal followed before the match to how Kane Mahal after a pop up European uppercut. Rusev continued to beat the shit out of Jinder Mahal after the match. Was it good? No. Was there any good things about it? Just one thing here, Tazara having their screen time and having a, a victory in the pay-per-view. This needs a goddamn push and he's saying like this, oh my god, he's probably better than TNA. I can't believe I ever say that. Uh, I mean, Impact Wrestling. Next one was Big Show defeating Rusev. It was a burial, squash match, whatever call these days. Uh, Big Show beating the crap out of Rusev. With three choke slams and a knock- knockout punch, probably breaking his jaw. Was it good? Out of the two filler matches, it was actually the best one. It's fun to see Big Show being a crap out of uh, Rusev. Next match, the sixth match on the card, the Cruiserweight Championship match, Neville defeated Jack Gallagher. Gallagher. Out of all the Cruiserweight matches I've seen on Delhi, this is the best one. Well, besides that kind of Cruiserweight match, uh, at the uh, the one time World of Sports ITV show, with those guys who uh, did the ladder match with Cruiserweight, uh, wait. Uh, Neville won. Uh, oh yeah, I always forgot to say. As you know, if you watch the predictions, I'm predicting for the heels. Uh, Smoke Joe. For Club. Nijek. And uh, Oh, they say I would have predicted Cesaro Big Joe. So I am one. One. Two. Five. I got five right and two wrong, including counting for kickoff show match. Okay, let's talk about the year number. No, another fill a bit. Was well, a new day made an appearance, revealing they created a bike delivery system for the ice cream or something. It was weird. It was boring. Came by if I was a do it, if I was looking at it, hey, break them up, turn them heel, or release them. Alright, next one is Roman Reigns defeating Braun Strowman. The ending was pretty was pretty hilarious, just like with Roman Reigns' sneakers. Uh, Braun Strowman missed. A splash from the top rope, but was hilarious. Then allowed Roman Reigns to hit him with a spear for the win. Was the build up decent? It was actually was. Was the match? Eh, nah. It's like a raw main event or something like that. Or do you talk about the second to late? Raw Women's Championship match. Bailey defeating Charlotte Flair. Now, oh, looking at my notes. Trisha Banks interfered, directed Charlotte and allowing Bailey, distracted Charlotte, allowing Bailey to hit a belly to Bailey suplex. Well, that is not a finishing move. Maybe it's to the woman's division, but that's like a normal move. You see, you know, it's all the way there. Do we then? I mean, match. On the floor, back into the ring, Charlotte rolled. Bailey up, but he started punching. And that chart had a hand on her tights. You see that like nearly every single, like a lot of matches, what the ref don't care because they're probably blind as a bat. And uh, what else? Bailey was able to then roll up Charlotte to retain her daughter her daughter Raw Women's Championship at the end of Charlotte's pay per view win pay per view win streak. The, the things what happened feel like it was supposed to be a WrestleMania. Uh, Braun Strowman uh, streak was over. 
Now Jack's streak was over. And Charlotte's streak was over. What? And all this is happening on a B, B level pay per view. Damn. Okay. Yes, talk about the match. The main event. Universal Championship match. Goldberg. What I predicted, just like with Braun Strowman, what was a fail, and Stroud and Charlotte Flair was a fail. Yes, talk about the match. Owen started outside of the ring for several minutes before the match started. Just before the bell rang, Chris Jericho music hit and he was on the stage just staring at uh, Kevin Owens with a nice good Jericho smile. The bell rang as Jericho walked to the ring, allowing Goldberg to immediately hit him with a spear and a jackhammer to win for the match and the championship. The match only lasted for 21 seconds, what I believe is the fastest pay-per-view Main event win of all time. I think it is. Well, it's not like that. Uh, that match on Raw a couple of years ago will only last for. If you don't count the pin, it lasted for zero seconds. Because once the bell rang, uh, before the bell rang, uh, Jeff King was doing a roll up to tat tat. Test was a bell rang, breath comes to paint, and one, two, three, last for about zero seconds. Now, the lip. Well, my dampness on my roof at MIT is getting worse. Yeah. Now, back in a minute, I need to get a tissue. Okay, I'm back. We just we just finished off the Goldberg match. Now, I would have started. I'll tell you what I felt like with the pay view. Now I'm gonna say that again. Was it a fail? No. Was it good? No. What is it? A, a D plus. Was Gacy gonna give it a C plus? But that would be too generous. Uh, well, that's it for the fast lane review. Now, let's talk about which one was better. Fast lane or the elimination chamber? Now, it is obvious. It's the motherfucking elimination chamber. 2017 was the best pay per view. Next. I'll probably forget, so I'm going to say in this episode. Next, uh, best well, pro, Raw versus SmackDown live. Which one was going to be better? It's going to be SmackDown. Because on Raw, it's probably going to be a bunch of rematches. Probably. It's probably going to be more talking. And on SmackDown, it's going to be no good ups. It's going to be better than Raw. And it's also going to have the main event. Randy Orton versus AJ Styles. A match what everybody always wanted. It's probably going to be amazing. Put me going to be the best main event. Current uh, up to that episode. Well, besides the elimination shape of main event, that was amazing. Now, we're going to end this video here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join for Brad Army. Follow me on Twitter at C. Underscore Brad underscore Solo Only capital letters. But I don't really don't have a go on Twitter. It's when I draw a competition and I need to send out a tweet to enter the competition. Oh, uh, you can follow me. Well, I think you can. You can I'll get or send me a friend's request and become one of my 
nearly 300 friends on Facebook. And also, me and the force be with you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. That sounded a bit creepy. Okay, end video now. Damn, 15 minutes, this is the longest review yet.